Greetings, and welcome to the Mid-Missouri Kayak Weather and COVID-19 Report for July 2020. On July 12th, Sunday at 11.45 in the morning, the temperature is 83 degrees. We're headed for a high of 86, though I'm sure we'll see 90. There's been a couple days this past week where it was supposed to be 88 or 89, and we hit the mid-90s. In fact, we had 95 yesterday, and it was supposed to be 89. So yeah, that's how it works. But this is supposed to be a milder day. We're looking at, well actually for the past week we've had 90s, um, and for the coming week, 90s again with 99 for Thursday and Friday predictions. Chance of rain on Wednesday, but you know we didn't have our chance of rain. We didn't have our rain that we were supposed to have last night, and that was a pretty high percentage for a chance, but did not come. So it's been a longer stretch, like five days without rain, which, you know, this has been a wetter spring and early summer, so, which, five days without rain, even if the Merle River on which I am were high, it would be low because of no rain for the past few days. And I've talked before about judging by the, the river height by the mud on the ramp, and the ramp is six concrete pads, and they're about 20 foot apiece going from the water up to the top. So it's 120 feet, and the mud was 80 feet up. And I figured it was safe. I figured it'd be dry, you know, because it's been so warm and it hasn't rained. And it was, and it's worn out by truck tires and all. But there was 40 feet, from 40 to 80 feet in, up the ramp is where the mud was, and it was packed down and dried. So, yeah, uh, I'm back to more what I know is normal levels here on this section of the Merle River at the Honey Creek access. And now Honey Creek is a couple hundred yards from the ramp and I actually saw one blue heron. It was a hundred yards ahead of me. It flew into that narrow wooded area. And when I got there, I couldn't find it. And I only got a hundred feet in. That's how water, low the water level is. So um, I've gone a, hundred, a mile and a half upstream and I'm headed on my way back. Uh, and it's nice. Out there, out from underneath this rock shelf, there's a nice breeze out there. So it's comfortable, even in the sun. Uh, I've been trying to hug the bank when I can and stay in the shade, but this thing meanders. And there's a good stretch where I'm headed due west, and the sun's right behind me, so it's, the trees on the banks aren't doing anything. So I went a mile and a half, and I have now come back. I saw that one great blue heron, and two um, turkey vultures, the ubiquitous turkey vultures. I've heard cicadas. <laughs> um, some birds right now it's quiet. They were chirping like crazy earlier, but I think all they were was robins. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, weather, kayaking, and wildlife. Oh yeah, you know this uh, rock shelf that's above me, the water level's low enough now that I could touch, it's, it's notched. It goes like this and, it, and it's lower, closer to the wall. And when I was here a few months ago, I could reach up and put my hand on it, which was unusual. And uh, today that's about three feet out of my reach, even the lower part. So that tells you how low the water level is. Okay, on to uh, the third aspect of this here update, COVID-19. Uh, I'm not sure of the Missouri state counts. I haven't looked at those lately. I know that Cole County, which is where we are in Jefferson City, is at 134 and Boone County is at 566. Now when I did this a month ago on, I think, June 12th, they were about 170 and we were 57. Now when we, the, the state lockdown ended June 19th, June 17th. And at that time, we had like three weeks where we didn't have any new cases in Cole County, and we were stuck at like around 57. But from that day on, um, 25 days, we've gone from 57 to 134. Uh, Boone County, like I said, they went up to 566 from like around 170, I think. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's Boone County or Cole, Columbia in Boone County has instituted a mask ordinance. Jefferson City has not. Now, even when we had a lockdown up to June 17th, I mean, they were limiting gathering sizes and that, and in bars and restaurants, but 
once they dropped it, you know, it was up to the people. And even when we had it in effect, uh, there was no mask ordinance, you know, nothing for the state. And as I said, one for Columbia now for about a week, and one here in Jefferson City when we hold our breath long enough, maybe. So, there's that. I was COVID tested on Tuesday. I am COVID-19 free. It was a free, no requirements, no doctor's notes, no symptoms, nothing. They've been doing it three days at a time in different counties around the state. And they did it three days here. They had 600 people per day that they tested. So, yeah, that's why we have so many cases. we got to stop testing the people and we won't have them. Yeah. Do a little drifting here. I'm using my phone. Uh, I decided to try that today. See how that works out. So yeah, COVID-19. So what else we got going on with health? Well, I talked about my uh, Achilles tendon last month and how this has been bothering me. It flares up every once in a while. I injured it 25 years ago and it flares up. And I haven't been able to go hiking for, for a couple months. I like to go to Runge or Haha Taka or something. And there's a new trail that I found that's like 15 miles from here I found out about and I want to try. That's like a the smallest loop on that one is seven miles. The largest, like 20 miles. And uh, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been exercising. I have been exercising. Um, now, what I've been doing on the treadmill this past week, I decided, you know what, I need to get that thing stretched a little bit. So I've at least been walking like uh, two miles an hour. You know, so I did for a half an hour, you know, one mile. But at least that way, I'm, I, I'm hoping that that will help it out. Uh, I'm, trying not to limp because just trying to walk stiff-legged affects my calf on my other leg, you know, and it's like, it's annoying as hell, you know, it just might, bothers my whole game. So I'm hoping to get that back in the working order. Okay, so it's uh, COVID, that's my Achilles. Oh, on July 20th, I go to see the neurologist, which is a follow-up for the esophageal, um, electrocardiogram that I had down my throat to check out my heart, which I had back in January. Finally getting an appointment on July 20th to see the neurologist. It's been decided that the neurologist needs to be the one to decide if there should be any further action, any treatment or surgery or anything, uh, because he's to determine if I'm at uh, a risk for any further TIAs or strokes or mini strokes. Now see, the thing is, 10 years ago I talked to my doctor. Uh, I said, going to angle this here. I said, you know, I get winded going up the stairs. It might take me only 10 seconds to recover, but my heart's racing just walking up the stairs. And he says, okay, well, he sent me for a, a stress test on a treadmill. Maybe I've talked about this before. Probably, yeah. Anyway, uh, they practically had me running and ch checking my recovery rate. And he says, you're fine. You're almost 60. You know I mean? You're fine. Your recovery is fine. Okay. So now here it is 10 years later, and I find out that I have this hole in my heart. Patent foramen ovale, which is between the atria, the upper chambers of the heart. So instead of the blood sometimes going out the top of the heart and going to the lungs to be filtered, thus avoiding strokes, it's also oxygenated. You know, So if it can flow right through that chamber sometimes rather than going out the top, well, then it's not getting the oxygen, you know? And so I'm wondering if that's what's causing it. Now, before I had this latest scan, I asked the cardiologist, could that be a reason, you know, because I can be winded? I can be winded just carrying groceries into the house. You know, my heart's racing, and it takes a half a minute for it to slow down. No, no, that wouldn't have anything to do with it. Jeez, I don't know. So anyway, we'll see what the um, neurologist has to say about it. Yeah, that's in, uh, it's in another week. So, uh, that's it. I'm holding my phone up against my camera to try and judge the distance. I was probably clunking away here. Um, like I said, I went a mile and a half upstream. I'm three quarters of a mile away from getting out of the water, and I should be out in, on the road by 1230, and hopefully we won't see 90 today. But I'll tell you what, I do appreciate that breeze out there. Yeah. And then something breeze over the water. It's only five miles an hour. I ramble. Well, folks, 
This has been your Mid Missouri Kayak Weather and COVID 19 report for July 2020. Ciao and vlog on.